Hi guys! As you can tell, I've got a brand new hair color. Well, I just couldn't resist my color temptation anymore. I hope you like it as much as I do, and if not, no worries. It's not a permanent color, just a toner, and it will be washed away by the end of the month. Well, unless I color my hair again. On my blog I've posted many high-resolution photos of my hair, so feel free to check them out at lilithmoon.com. Today I'll show you how to quickly add some texture to your hair with a straightener. I'll be using a flat iron from QT Performance. I'll grab a section of hair from the back of my head, clamp the iron closed and flick it out to the back to create a U-shape with the hair. Keeping the iron in that position, I slowly move it down to the ends. I make sure to put some pressure on the hair, otherwise the curls won't be formed. Then I grab the following section and repeat the same procedure. The size of the section and the speed at which you glide down it will define the nature of your curls. A smaller section makes smaller, tighter curls. Larger sections result in softer curls that look much more natural. And the slower you move your iron, the tighter the curls will be. So if you're going for that trendy out-of-bed texture, a good idea would be to mix it all up so that each curl looks slightly different. You could also alternate the directions of curls, flicking your iron not only to the back, but also to the front. But today I feel like keeping all my curls in the same direction, away from my face. If your hair is thick, you'll probably want to curl it in horizontal sections starting from the bottom. But because my hair is very thin, I don't really need to section it. To avoid hair damage, remember to apply a heat protectant and use a flat iron only on totally dry hair. And if your hair is naturally curly, you can use the same technique to redefine your curls. Just do not straighten your hair before or the curls won't really hold. Once the hair has cooled down, you can open up the curls. Just shake your hair near the roots and tousle it with your fingers. And to reduce frizz, at the end you can scrunch it like so. This texture is perfect for creating all kinds of messy abdos. When you're running out of time but still want to somehow spice up your hair, you can use your top layers to create a messy twist and pin it at the side of your head. Put the remaining hair into another twist and you'll get a casual messy abdo. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments down below and feel free to join me on my social networks. Thanks for watching! Bye!